In this video, we illustrate our cutting algorithm and its applications. We first illustrate our robust intersection computation. Red and yellow dots indicate point-point and point-edge degeneracies. Blue and green indicate edge-edge and point-triangle intersections, which can be computed robustly after rejecting degeneracies. Here the tolerances are exaggerated to show their effects. Degeneracies such as coincident edges are naturally handled by the algorithm. We can even handle total degeneracy. We illustrate our cutting algorithm in 2D. Extension to 3D is straightforward. Each element can be maximally split into six sub-elements. Their connectivities are defined by the six interior segments and six boundary segments. A cutting segment can break connectivity between sub-elements if it intersects the element at the green point and any of the blue points. Here's an example. The red cutting curve first turns on the segments. Then we split each element into connected components and merge them along the element boundary if they are not turned on. We can subdivide the embedded mesh and use the same procedure to make another cut. The simulation elements are also duplicated and merged according to their embedded elements. Here we apply a second cut to the new mesh. After the cut, the material mesh is subdivided again so more cuts can be applied. Our cutting algorithm can be used in many different scenarios. In the first example, we keep cutting the disk into smaller pieces until we reach the scale of degeneracy tolerances. We indicate degeneracies in green. In this cut, a degeneracy is registered, which helps avoid ambiguity in intersection computations. We show a similar example in 3D. As we reach the scale where degeneracies happen more frequently, small extra pieces at the scale of the tolerances are generated. We cut a stretched armadillo with a nest shaped surface and then split into three pieces with two more cuts. Each cut is applied procedurally as armadillo is deforming. Our cutter can also simulate peeling. The virtual node algorithm can handle thin volumes generated by the cut. The thickness of the skin is only 1 60th of the diameter of the sphere. The overlapping of the cuts shows the cut elements can be cut again. This is viewing from another angle. Here we carve a cow out of a cube using a cow surface. We can further cut the cow volume with a bunny surface. At the end, we stamp letters out of a thing sheet.